is up, everybody? Thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of Heat Press Nation Live. That's right. Esteban here with Jared, tuning in as usual. Thursdays, our favorite day of the week here. Favorite day of the Thank week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We got a very special show for everyone. Um, if this is your first time tuning in, we got a couple awesome things we want to talk about. We're talking about contests, and yeah. there's multiple ways they can get involved. What do we got for them this week, Jared? Uh, so this week we are giving away a winner's choice roll of uh, regular Caesar Easy Weed vinyl, and that awesome. includes Caesar Easy Weed, uh, Stretch, Electric, or Extra. Wow! So those are the Easy Weeds. We're giving those away today later at the end of the broadcast. So if you liked and shared last week's episode, you're entered to win. Your name is right here. Uh, we have all the names in there. We're going to be drawing a name just a little bit later, and that's really it's really that simple. That's all you have to do to be entered into our weekly giveaway. Like and share this episode. So if you want to be entered to win next week's giveaway, just look on screen there. You want to hit those little buttons on the bottom there and you're going to want to share the post. And don't forget to hit post. Boom. There we go. Lock it in. That's right, guys. It's that easy. Um, in addition, there's also going to be post of the week. Yes. So if you guys want to share any of your work in the Facebook group, Heat Press Nation Creators, or use the hashtag HPN Creators on any of your social media, all the entries will be compiled for consideration. We're going to give you guys three awesome options. I think we have options this week, right? We do. You know, awesome. why don't we go ahead and show them right now? Absolutely, guys. Let's, Let's take a look it. at the nominees for post of the week. So check it out. Number A, this is cool because this is glitter and flock. As you guys know, flock is super cool, what and you can layer, <laughs> you can layer lots of stuff on top of it. This is, this is a huge design, super rad. I'm a big fan of this. I think it's very cool. No, super awesome. Love layering work. Love the multicolor here. Super awesome. And then we have option B, which I think this is really cool because it's kind of like a set. Man, you guys, you don't have to stop at just offering one thing. Offer your customers a set. Make more money. Uh, you do you. No, yeah, absolutely. No, this is awesome. Looks like this is some canvas bag action. Is that some what I'm saying here? Canvas bag. I see a kitchen towel, and I love how they have the heart in California. Because, of course, you know, we're here in California. We love it. Absolutely. Awesome for uh, entry B. Let's take a look at the last one here. Number C. Now, what and do we got going on in this one, Jerry? So this is cool. So there's a chest logo and a full rear uh, press on the back. And this is sublimation. So you see how you're able to get this multicolor design, super vibrant, super cool. Um, I'm imagining that's a 100% polyester shirt just because the colors look so darn good. No, so spot on. That's definitely what we recommend for sub transfers, 100% polyester. You can see with that light colored garment, you really get those true color values. Time and temperature looked on spot for this one. Sick. So the guys, so the way he, uh, so the way uh, post of the week works is that these are our three favorite posts that we've seen this week, either in the hashtag HPN Creators um, hashtag, which is right there. You see that one right there, or, or in our Facebook group. Heat Press Nation creators. So we take our three favorite posts uh, of the week, but we let you guys vote on them. So if you want to, if you want to vote on your winner, all you got to do is just comment the letter um, below. So if you liked A, B, or C, just Ooh. comment it. We're going to be showing them a little bit later on in the broadcast. So don't worry if you missed them. You can still vote. You actually have until next week to vote. Absolutely. That's right, guys. So you can get those entries in right now if you like. We'll be running through those, as Jared said, in just a little bit. I uh, want to mention quickly to you guys our YouTube channel. For those of you who are already tuning in on YouTube, you know what I'm talking welcome, about. Welcome. It's going to be youtube.com <clears throat> slash heatpressnation. You can take a look at all of our past episodes. And there's just been so many tutorials coming out on you know the supply items, the different transfers. I mean, you guys are doing a lot of work in uh, business development, getting some really awesome content. We want you guys to see everything, so make sure you get those subscriptions in maybe some thumbs up some thumbs up would always be we love thumbs up that's right guys um, we do have the iPads today so simul yes. streaming dual broadcasts on uh, Facebook and on the YouTube yes. so if you guys have any questions make this a fun one we'll get to as many of these as we can Comment thank you guys in. we got a lot already on here oh what's up? Let's, let's, let's give some shout outs yeah Who absolutely we got I uh, see Lisa Peckinpah giving the wave Greetings. got a hello from uh, Adrian Tardy Let's see, you got uh, West Virginia being represented, San Antonio. Oh, what's up, what's up? Good yes. afternoon from Pittsburgh. Got some hellos from Houston, yeah, New we're, York. We're, we're, all, we're all across the map Nationwide, there. Hey, heat, heat cool. press nationwide. Ah, there we go. You see what he did there? <laughs> I saw it. What do you got? Uh, anyone tuning in on you know, I'm still, I'm still loading up on, on YouTube, so right we're going to give our YouTube guys and girls a shout out in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, as you know, today is our special dedication to... America's second favorite pastime. Football. 
football. That's right. Football season is upon us. We're super lucky here in Southern California. We got two awesome teams. I know yes. for years LA did not have a, a single football team, but now we got two. All right, so please. super awesome. But wherever you are, you know, it's football season. And uh, why not apply your heat transfer skills, equipment, materials, make something in the you know time of year kind of spirit. Yeah, exactly. And by, and by the way, um, offering your services either directly to your local sports team, like your local little leagues, um, or Pee Wee football or whatever it is, if you, even if you don't get like the deal to, to do the teams, you can still sell to all the moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and uncles and aunts. Guys, if you're not taking advantage, uh, you know, if you're running a business, a heat press business, no matter how big or small, if you're not taking advantage of the local uh, market and the local sports team, you are That's really right. missing out. Yeah, you don't want to sell yourself short. I mean, there's so many different avenues where you can offer these services because there's definitely the need, you know, for something yeah. I would say in this range, uh, especially if you're able to provide something quickly. Um, I mean, like I said, you already have the skills and the equipment. Today we're going to be doing some awesome live demonstrations just to kind of show you guys how easy it is you can really have something for that football market, that sports crowd. You, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's not just football. I mean, we're showing you guys football today because we're in the middle of football hey. season. What's up? But uh, but really, h hockey season's here. Uh, basketball season's That's coming right. up. Oh man, we're super excited. We got LeBron. LeBron James. You're probably gonna hear us talk about that <laughs> at least once per episode for the next uh, until what June? Yeah, until we uh, have the parade <laughs> going down Figaro again, like old times. Nice. Um, <laughs> we're actually gonna be working with some cool new colors today that just came out. We're talking about the uh, Caesar glitter champagne, right? Yes, we got Excellent. some champagne glitter. It's very cool. Uh, it's for those of you guys maybe you know. The uh, Caesar Glitter Gold is pretty yellow, uh, and then, oh, what? Uh, go Lakers. <laughs> Caesar Glitter Ye uh, Gold is pretty yellow gold. Then you have uh, the glitter, I think it's old gold, right? Yes, that was a little bit less yellow. Yeah, a little more like a precious metal, in my opinion. There we go. Yeah, so. And then Champagne is actually really leaning into that Champagne uh, look. It's a very, there's a hint of yellow in there, but it's, I don't know, it's really cool. It definitely hits that space between white and old gold that I know a lot of people are looking for, so we're really stoked on that. Caesar, they, man, they've been dropping new colors like crazy, haven't they? No, absolutely. Very if you cool. guys have been keeping up with our buddies over at Caesar North America, we've had uh, releases like the Orange Soda. Orange Soda uh, was rad. There's, uh, Wicked Purple. Wicked Purple, which I really like. And actually, with this, we released um, Cran Electric Cranberry. That's it was, right. I wanted to say a different berry. I was going to say like boysenberry, well, some other dumb berry. Electric Grape also just came out oh, also. Oh, that's right, yeah. Which is uh, super cool. So That's the other berry. Yeah, they're always cooking up to something <laughs> over there. Um, so yeah, definitely worth checking out. All of those are going to be available at heatpressnation.com. Right now. That's right. You can go check out all the new colors over at heatpressnation.com. Like my buddy Stevan said, uh, if you want to see them, we actually posted, we posted the two new colors um, we post the two new colors on our Instagram, and we just shared them recently. So, awesome. Yeah, you can definitely check that out. Right on. Uh, today we're going to be working with our signature series, 15 what, what? by 15, I love that with press. the slide out drawer. Yes. If you guys have seen any of our past episodes, you know this is one of our favorite machines. It's really geared towards sort of advanced business level production. So maybe not quite, you know, in the American commercial industrial class, but definitely something for a higher rate of use. Today we're actually uh, working with the auto open yes. model. Yes. So, uh, showing off the auto open, showing off the slide out drawer. Guys, this is by far the best press you'll find under $1,000. And it's not like $9.99. It's not like barely under $1,000. It's like significantly. No, that's right. I under believe uh, fully loaded with the auto open. I think we're looking around like $6.19, I want to say. That's the, for the 16, 16 by 20. 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. So the 15, the 15 by 15 is even more affordable. Awesome. If you guys want, go ahead and go check it out on heatpressnation.com. But we're going to be using that to press. Dude, check this out. I'm super stoked on that. We're pressing football jerseys today. And if you look, that's a pretty big print, right? Yeah, we got the front, absolutely. We got the back. Oh, check that out, right? And you did this with a 15 by 15? I did this on a 15 by 15. Yes, awesome, sir. guys. You see that? Look at that work there. I Excellent. was going to take several. It took several presses. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> we got our, our local uh, farm team, the Heat Pressers, that we're going to be a... Uh, making jerseys for today. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we're super excited. I love the captaincy there too. Just a little attention to detail. Right, right. And you know, we're gonna go into this in just a moment, but you see the, just the dual layers here, just the added value from this. So yeah, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, also on display here is uh, one of our new favorite toys we got here in the office. Oh, this is the Stahl Sports Ball Press. I'm gonna go take this over. You yeah, run it, You wanna run tell it. them about it really quick? Yeah, absolutely. If you guys maybe tuned into our World Cup episode a little while back, you saw we were had this live in action, uh, pressing some 
some soccer balls. Um, great they product, great machine. Good. Definitely got the stalls, craftsmanship, ingenuity, super well built. Uh, great warranties, top to bottom on the different components. But really offers that kind of special cool. lower platen with the curved structure on the top for the heating element to really give you even contact. I mean, we, you guys saw before we did it with the soccer ball. This is going to be more of a lemon head, kind of that Hey Arnold football shape. <laughs> uh, and it still gave great contact. You can really see the texture of the kind of pebbled leather on here. This came out awesome. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Uh, one thing I love about it is we were able to put our, our farm team logo on there and our number. So if you got local sports teams um, or if you're, you know, your kids are in uh, sports and you don't want the other kids stealing the balls, you, know, you can put the Sharpie to it, but really if you want something cool, way to stand out, you can just put their number on it. Um, if you want to add the team logo to it, but yeah, very cool way to um, to customize these. Of course, this is the synthetic. If you guys are looking close, you may have seen a little bit of a press mark on there. You can iron those out if you want to. Um, but if you are working with leather, it's going to stick really well, and you're not going to have any press marks. Awesome, awesome. Very How durable cool. do you think a transfer like this would be on a, on a sports ball? Is it be more decorative, would you say? or? Uh, I would say it's it's more decorative, but I mean... It's pretty darn durable. I mean, those we, we did the soccer ball episode not too long ago. We actually took it around. Uh, we kicked it up. We still we, take that ball we around. We abused it, it here. We, we all try to out. juggle, uh, you know, try not to hit the uh, in the office Sorry. here. And those transfers are... Oh. I don't Got know it. who's catching it. <laughs> there we go. Interception. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we kicked that ball around. Uh, we gave it to our local sports team. Um, shout out to Leo. Up, uh, yes, shout yeah. out to Leo. Give it to our local sports team. Uh, they kicked it around. They had fun with it. I'm not sure how long it took until it started uh, peeling, but it was extremely, extremely durable. Uh, for sure, for sure, made it through the season um, of practice. So awesome! Yeah, very there cool. It is battle tested. Um, all right, Jerry, what do you want to get into first today? All right. So today, actually, we not only are we doing jerseys, but we are also doing. Well, I don't know if you can see it here. Oops. Well, it hasn't been pressed yet, that's why. Uh, but we are also doing support tees. I don't know what you would call it, but these are the t-shirts that you would uh, that you would market to the families of your local Pee Wee uh, players. So everybody wants to show their support um, for their kids, for their grandkids, whoever it is that may be uh, out there. You know, they want to show their support. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, they want cool t-shirts to wear to the games. Everybody wants to stand out. Uh, and uh, you know, show your team really pride. Cool. Yeah, there we go. You know, to have something customized or personalized, even if it's just something a little generic like mom. But you know, you can have you know, I'm rooting for number 23. Yes. Or uh, you know, just possibilities are endless really with this. So um, you ready to get started on one of these? Let's do it. So today awesome. we're gonna be layering several things. What you're gonna see right now is we actually have some easy patterns, which is something that we haven't really brought out lately here on Heat Press Nation Live. So we definitely wanted to show off. These are easy, easy patterns because it makes for a really, really sweet transfer. Of course, we got our brand new uh, champagne. champagne gold. Awesome. Champagne in the membrane. Oh, my goodness. Right? <laughs> Just kidding. There we go. So All we're right, going to be so doing a little bit of layering today. Uh, one thing to note about the easy pattern is it's going to be the same time and temperature as regular easy weed. Yes. And you can layer it. So super awesome product. Great way to add that extra dimension, layer, texture, what have you, to your designs, especially with the football texture. Yeah. For sure. So uh, you want to do this? Yeah, absolutely. I'll get started on this one here. Cool. So we're going to bring it around. So we have three different layers. And because of the way they overlap, and Stefan's going to come out right now. Yeah. We have three different layers. Because of the way they overlap, we're going to have to press each color uh, one at a time. So we're doing a total of three presses on this today. Some people, they like to combine it. Uh, some people, they like to combine different things. You know, maybe press two different layers at once. You can, but the way these overlap, and you'll see in a minute, the way they overlap, we're going to just do one at a time. You're welcome to do one at a time. If you can manage to fit several layers on the same press, if, they, if the placement allows you to do that, go ahead and do that. Uh, but in this case today, once again, we're doing one at a time. So Stefan's going to come on up. He's going to preheat our t-shirt, and I'm going to, with the assist here, he's, my, uh, he's the wide receiver, and I am the quarterback. I'm going to pitch him some of uh, his layers one at a time. So there we go. So as we mentioned, we are working with our signature series with the slide-out drawer. So we got full extension here. Oh, let's get the pillow. Sorry. Oh, awesome. Put that underneath there. Yep. And the reason why we're using the pillow today, we don't necessarily need it for this T-shirt, but we are going to use it later for our jersey. So we figured, hey, what the heck, we're just going to do everything uh, with that pillow today. Awesome. 
Slide out drawer really gives us this extra distance between our cells and the high temperature heating element. Great if you have folks with different experience levels operating the machine, really yes. makes the, the learning curve softer, we like to say, yeah. with this one here. So let's go ahead and just do a quick pre-press. Yeah, and the reason why we do the pre-press uh, is because we like to, uh, you gotta get the moisture out of there. Is that feeling a little tight? How's that feeling? See, I think we're okay. We're good? Yeah, we're okay, good. perfect, we're good. perfect. Yeah. And by the way, the 15 by 15 auto open is in stock right now. I know we had a couple questions about that uh, in the past weeks. This thing, we just can't keep it on the shelves. Uh, but we have it in stock right now. Super this popular. Top part. Yeah, so that's, that's going to be the... Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm just going to try and eyeball this here. By the way, we do have a T-square for this. You don't have to... Eye we eyeball a lot of stuff just for time's sake mm -hmm. here on Heat Press Nation Live. But also, we're pretty darn experienced heat pressers, so... I feel like I have the gift of, uh, like, once you've centered so many things, you can kind of, <laughs> you know, eyeball things a little Absolutely. bit better. So for this first layer, we're not going to press for the full duration. We just recommend, I'd say, about three to five Oops. seconds to kind of activate that adhesive. Right, Jared? E exactly. Yes, All sir. Right. So we got our program non-stick uh, non sheet coming in. Jeez. I can't talk today, bro. Uh, no I'm so, the, the football has me going crazy, <laughs> man. All right. So let's go ahead and lay this down. We're going to do this first one for just a few seconds to kind of tack on that transfer. One, two... Three, there we go. And you see and you see there that little red button on the side. This is exclusive to our signature series line. Uh, if you have an auto open heat press uh, and you want to do a pre-press on your products, oh you know what? Maybe we should just increase the pressure just, just a hair. Just a smidgen. Yeah. So tap it again. No, let's bring this up. Yeah. Here. That's why it's important to peel a little slowly when you're first testing stuff. And again, this is Heat Press Nation Live, guys. We do our best to test things properly. All right, what's and uh, and if you layer? see our mistakes live, then Bro, that's how you know this is exactly real. Let me see here. So, so let's let's right. actually let's repress that one first. I yeah, think. absolutely. Yeah. Let's go ahead and tack. So we're just gonna hit that again. Here. We're gonna increase the pressure just a little bit. And we're gonna let that sit for another. There we go. Perfect. Oh, perfect. There we excellent, go. Excellent. Excellent. Always not got my back. Teamwork to make the dream work, guys. Absolutely. It's not fatal if you have a little thing lift up. Just go ahead, adjust your pressure, repress it, and we're all good. All right. Let's bring this one in here. Slightly gap, Jared. Yes, sir. And so, and now you see how there's a little overlap of this transfer on the transfer, to, like from the the carrier sheet. That's exactly why. If you guys are watching this, that's exactly why we have um, why we press these separately. Otherwise, if your carrier sheet, you know, which is a clear plastic part, if that's overlapping, then um, it's going to be a little tough. It's going to be a little All tough. All right, to, so uh, let's do this again. It. Just about a few seconds. Activate that adhesive. Get it to stay in place there for us. And that should this. stick. Yeah. Nice and easy. So you notice that we're only pressing it for about three seconds. If you if you're nervous about the three second tack. Uh, you can go ahead and press yours for five. Uh, actually, because this is now, now we have our press set to 305. You'll notice we're doing glitter. Glitter should be pressed at 320. 20. Yeah. So we're going to let this go for the full um, eight seconds right here for each layer. And then we'll probably do a repress just to make sure that everything is sticking. All so right. we got our football mom in here. Let's see. Will go. this, you know, yeah. let me trim this really quick because I think. Do them both at we once? We can do them both at once. At the same dang time? I think it's possible. Let's see. That looks like a line to squeeze well. that in there. Let's see here. And as you can see, Jared did the knockout method. What cutter did you prepare these transfers with for us? So these these ones, usually we're using like a silhouette cameo, but this week uh, was able to use the brand new Graftech CE Lite 50. Uh, and it's been pretty darn cool. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, I'm a big fan of the Prez. There's a little bit of a learning curve. Like It's not as easy to get from the cameo to the Graftech as I thought. But uh, it's very much worth the, uh, you know, maybe the a couple hours you want to invest in learning the new software. And uh, let's go ahead and press this. What we're time did you want to run on this one? Because we're, uh, we're going to run the full eight seconds full that eight we have on the clock. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So really quick, and I only have like four seconds left. But really quick, if you're interested. Wait for it. Love the auto open. <laughs> if you guys are interested in the Graphtech CE Lite. 50. Uh, we have a special running right now. There is a $200 rebate offered by Graftech, which is incredible. So uh, right now it retails for $899. Um, but of course, with that rebate, rebate, that brings the price all the way down to 
nine. Woo! Guys, that's incredible, especially for such a fantastic press. Um, you definitely want to get on that because it <laughs> expires uh, very soon. We'll have the, the date for you in a little bit. But yeah, that's very soon. I'm thinking because, well, you know, let's just like. So really quick, getting back to our transfer here, which looks incredible. High five to Esteban, because that looks incredible. <laughs> um, if, if we were pressing this for reals, especially to Sal, we would have waited to go to 320. But because it's live, of course, we were able to kind of get away with it uh, at the lower temperature. Uh, but definitely, if you're selling stuff, guys, you definitely want to make sure uh, that you're pressing this at the proper time. But check Pretty that. awesome. Show, I dig show it. that to the, show that to the camera. <laughs> they, need to, they need to get that. Uh, they need to appreciate the champagne glitter. Absolutely. And so that's something that's really cool. Of course, you can go for your team's colors. Um, football mom, uh, you can put you can put the um, the number on the back. Uh, it's really really cool. So very very excited about this. And man, that um, that football no, it's awesome. Easy patterns looks so darn cool. Absolutely. Actually, let's bring this back up to camera too. Just want to show the texture of the easy pattern. This is going to be available in awesome colors very like cool. argyle, plaid, basketball print. This is the football print. You can really see the grain in there. That looks um, amazing. Press is just like Easy Weed, guys, so you know exactly how to use this already. Um, this is available going to be in sheets and in rolls. It's Caesar Easy Pattern. Caesar Easy Pattern, guys. You can get that at uh, heatpressnation.com. Really quick, just hopping back to the Graphtech CE Lite 50. The rebate offer ends November 30th. So check that out. You guys have until November 30th, just a little bit, uh, well, a little bit over two months. Um, but trust me, time flies. You don't want to sit on this. Graphtech CE Lite 50 now available with a $200 rebate. Hey. Amazing. Get it while the getting's good, guys. Uh, let's see Dude, here. that was really cool. Oh, Excellent thank you. Job. Thank yeah. you. Hey, good transfer preparation. Uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for everybody joining in. Uh, I see GTiana is joining us now. Uh, I got our dude, Leo Alvarez. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, let's see here. Sharon Walsh. Greetings, Asian. Let's see here. Uh, Ethel Moore is asking, is it better to watch on Facebook or YouTube? There's really no wrong answer to yeah, that. Yeah, which, whichever one is better for you. That's right. To be totally honest. There we now, go. Now, in a perfect world, everybody would follow us, would, would, would subscribe on YouTube, and also like <laughs> us on Facebook. So, hey, if you're into, if you're into the whole double thing, well, double it up. Well, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook. Uh, but when it comes to the Facebook Live, it's the exact same stream going to each one, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. Straight up. There we go. All right. Yeah, so, cool. um, yeah, you guys saw how easy it is. We did a kind of combination Boom. of layering and the knockout method there. Made for a really cool design. Saw the 1515 Signature Series uh, auto open, was able to handle everything. Let's uh, let's take it up a notch. We ready to go for the main event here? Absolutely, guys. guys. Check out this jersey. This is a Heat Pressers jersey. Of course, that we made. I, I, I want to say the jersey cost like $13. Wow. This is a medium youth jersey. So, so these are not expensive, but you could sell these. Well, you, okay, those of you guys who have kids in Little League, you know how expensive <laughs> the finished product is. So there's definitely a great markup on there. But for good reason, it's actually a lot of labor that goes into something, especially with two colors, as you're about to see right now. So I'm going to come around. Yeah, take it and, away. Uh, yeah, let's do there this. There we go. So as Jared said, he's prepared all of our Caesar Easy Weed transfers we're going to be pressing today with the GraphTech C Light. You got till November 30th to take advantage of that awesome rebate. More details and information at the website below, heatpressnation.com, or give us a call at the number next to that. Jared, take it away. All righty. So you see here, we do have our pillow. Now, one thing I want to show you guys really quick is, as you can see, this is kind of a perforated material. Mm -hmm. So when you're pressing stuff on there, you, the, the, the adhesive, it gets liquidy, right? That's a technical term. And Super you don't tech. want it to seep into the, to the underside. So what we're going to do with this pillow, um, and also there's lots of seams on here, lots of places where you can get uneven pressure. Yeah, a lot so, of embellished stitching on these athletic pieces. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put our, our pillow inside. And we're going to press several layers on here. So if you want to know why these things can tend to be so expensive, well, Absolutely. we're about to show you guys. Right. So we're going to press the top first, and we have two layers. And we love the Soft Fusion pressing pillows. It's going to be available in a set, so you get multiple sizes. Great for pressing around buttons, doing, uh, I was using these for a onesie that we made last week, so definitely multi-purpose. Yes, sir. So I got my transfers here. So you'll see here how we have a two-layer design. It's a white on yellow, but we're going to press the bottom first. So really quick here, we're going to press this. That C looks good. C looks good right about here. And then I'm going to 
I kind of eyeball this center on the pressers. There we go. All right, so we have our bottom layer here. So you guys, if you guys are watching, go ahead and set your clocks because you're going to see about how long it takes to do one jersey. All right. So we have our first layers on. All right, pressure is good. I'm going to press these for about four to five seconds. Going to hit that right there. We're gonna pull it off and then slowly peel for the first layer just to make sure everything's sticking. And yes, everything is sticking right on, right beautifully. On. So now we're gonna go for our second layer, which is right here. You wanna make sure that's nice and centered there. Look at those nice crisp cuts. Boom, CE light all day, baby. There we go. Place those down, put those back. These are going to go, um, because this is the last time I'm pressing these, uh, these particular sections, they're going to go for the full uh, eight seconds. So, ta -da! auto open, guys. If you guys have worked with presses, you know how, like, there's a physical effort that goes into it, right? It's oh, absolutely. I mean, opening, closing, positioning, adjusting. Uh, the auto open is definitely going to take some of that uh, labor out. It's going to really streamline production. Or, you know, I always say if you have your machine in a place of business, Beautiful. great to, you know, have that being able to step away, address a walking customer, set it and forget it. <laughs> I love that, set it and forget it. So check that out. So we got the top part of this jersey done. But we're not done yet. Oh, we are not done. <laughs> they thought we were done, Esteban. <laughs> oh, man. I oh. thought we were out to drag me back in. <laughs> so check it out. So we did that. Now we're going to press the number. The number um, is going to take up a lot of vinyl, but that's okay. You could, oh, and by the way, the way everything is sized, this number is gigantic. It's like 12 inches tall by, I want to say, like 8 inches wide or something like that. Make sure we're centered here. And I was telling you before we went on camera today, I love the line spacing on here. You were actually able to get that 23 there cut as a single piece that's yes. being applied there. Mm -hmm. uh, just looks super professional. Can't wait till that second layer goes oh, on. Oh, gracias. Yeah, what's cool about this is you could actually cut this with your silhouette camera. The sizing works to where if you have a 16, I'm sorry, if you have a 12 by 24 inch cutting mat, first layer done. If you have a 12 by 24 inch cutting mat, this is definitely in your realm of capabilities. Look at that. Boom. Yeah, offering a variety of you know uh, clothing options, not just t-shirts or sweaters, but something like these athletic jerseys, and you could really maximize your earning potential, your product range, and the value. You know, something like this. Jared said we got the super low cost. You know what the material is to you know customize this. You have the skills already, guys, so you can really take things to the next level with your sporting athletic market. Exactly. So we're a couple minutes into this jersey here. We're doing the first side. We're gonna give this the full. Uh, eight second press here. here we go. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind uh, is as we're doing this, like you'll notice, we're doing two layers of vinyl for each. And this is actually a lot of vinyl um, right here, just on the front. You ain't fooling. So, not only are we doubling our pressing time, but we're also doubling our cutting time. There we go. So, we're going to show off the front of this jersey here that we just made <laughs> live right now on Heat Press Nation. Look at this. Awesome, down to the captain C and everything. Look at that. That is ready to go <clears throat> for your local sports team. If you guys um, are wanting to offer stuff to your local sports team, I highly recommend purchasing a jersey, making one with your business name on it, and then when people ask you for a sample, just show them that. Absolutely, yeah. It never hurts to have a mock-up of, you know, I'd say your full range, honestly. That's going to be the best catalog, something that your prospective customers, buyers, new best friends can, you know, hold tangible feel and see. So, you know, definitely benefits, I think, to have a little bit of everything to show, at least visual and touch-wise. I'm getting ready to go on the second here. We are ready to go. Where did I... Oh, the transfers oh, here. Transfer you go really grab quick. those here. <laughs> all righty. So there we go. let's take a look at all of this. Let's see. And here they go. I knew they were somewhere. They were somewhere. Somebody got them. Somebody will clean that up. Excellent. All right. Excellent. So here we go. So we got our first layer going down again. So in total, we, we've had like, we have three different placements on the front times two. So there's six different cuts and weeds on the front. And on the back, we have, a, we have four more. 
So this is not like <clears throat> this is not like really quick one and done. People, and that's why the jerseys cost so much, which is also why you guys can charge so much. There's so much work and labor. You definitely don't want to undersell this job, um, especially if they're doing like multiples. Absolutely no. I mean, just looking at it here, you're, just, you're adding value, and that should be compensated, you know, as far as reflected in the invoice, because your time is money, you know. And uh, Michael Garcia always, you know, tries to impress that upon us, especially, you know, with the uh, folks who are really taking their, their financial future into their own hands. You know, your money, def your time definitely has a monetary value that you know you should definitely hold to a certain standard and you know all these extra layers is extra time it backs it up I would say and then this one we're gonna go for the full time again magic and we appreciate you guys for being patient with us now those of you guys who are watching you guys this is like real life experience uh, you notice we're not cutting any corners here. I think the only thing we are doing is we're probably not uh, taking time to use an alignment tool Correct. Um, that's probably the only step we're saving, but everything else, um, and actually I should slide this out. Slide out drawer, check that out. Um, but everything else we're doing in real time. Um, so you guys can see exactly how long it takes. If this is something that you've been thinking about offering uh, to your local sports team, and then it's not even just little leaguers. I mean, I don't know how many uh, neighborhoods, I know in our neighborhood here in like Orange County, there are so many uh, like pickup game teams um, and you know, softball teams, uh, it's, you know, ultimate frisbee. I mean, the list of teams just goes on and on and on. No, absolutely. Just imagine if you have two machines going, wowzers, you know, just be printing money, basically. Um, did have a question coming in, Jared. Oh, sweet. Um, Bring this it one's on. going to be from uh, Butch Oscar Cox. They were asking, do you not preheat the jersey? Because the jersey is 100% polyester, um, it's kind of moisture working on its own. So we don't really have to worry about moisture uh, on the jersey. So we're not preheating it. But if we lived in like the Everglades, I probably would. <laughs> but uh, it's pretty, it's pretty decent over here as far as humidity is concerned. Uh, and this material in particular doesn't really hang on to moisture uh, too, too much. So we're, we're eliminating that step. But if you guys want to be, if you guys want to play it safe, I will never tell anyone to not preheat. Yeah, and these ones thankfully didn't have too much of a wrinkle, so uh, you know they were kept in a nice condition. So we definitely had a really smooth surface to work on, which would be the other reason I would say you want to do the uh, you want to do the pre press so you can get out any of those wrinkles as well as the moisture. And just you know, shout out to Jared here, just really showing you guys <laughs> this layered Put in labor layer intensive transfer here. But putting on the Jersey Clinic over here, the and final the final product will be worth it. And keep in mind, we're doing this on a 15 inch by 15 inch heat press so this is not something huge even though the numbers like if you look at it if you look at the finished product you'll think wow that's that looks like a lot of vinyl it is a lot of vinyl um, but it's not like out of your range if you have a cameo and a 15 by 15 inch m press which are prop which are our most affordable cutter and our most affordable heat press if you guys have those two products you could be making these jerseys it's not outside of your your capabilities it's and very much within the realm all right, we got a finished product coming up here. Mr. Pressman, if you guys don't get that joke, then uh, you should probably just watch a different. <laughs> no, that came out awesome. Press, uh, there we go. I'm trying to set it with the screen there. Pressman number 23, we're going to give you guys a look at the front again. The heat pressers. We got our captain's jersey here. Send that over to my Capitan right there. No, this came out great. You know, I was telling Ramon earlier before we went on camera, like, this is what the rich kids' jerseys <laughs> look like You know, when you're playing youth football. Uh, but no, super awesome. So S is going to get suited and booted right now. Uh, that, was, that was pretty fun. So if you guys have been watching, you guys have been keeping track of the time it takes to get a jersey done. If you guys want to know why they cost so much and why you can charge so much, you'll see we have a total of six different, I'm sorry, we have a total of five different locations. We got one, uh, I'll go over it right here. Actually, if we can get this on camera too, I think that would, can you see it here? I think we can see it. There we go. We have one for the C, we have two, we have three. We flip it over, four, five. So we have five different press locations. That's five different times two, because remember, we're doing two colors on each. That's a total of 10 different cuts and 10 different weeds. Now, these are pretty simple graphics, so it's not. it didn't take us a ton of time, um, but depending on the logo of the team that you're working with, um, depending on the names or whatever, all that you gotta take into consideration when you're pricing your product. If you're doing a two color on a jersey with these different locations, with this many different locations, a total of 10 different spots that you have to hit, 
that's a um, you know, that's money. Absolutely, it's time and money, energy, effort, vinyl, extra cutting, extra electricity. So like we said, your invoice should reflect that. I mean, you're really going above and beyond, I would say, you know, with the transfers on here. What? So, you know, hey, hey. They still fit into the youth jersey. <laughs> it's, a, it's a squeeze. I don't know if I'd get the full pad underneath, but uh, yeah, no, I'm trying to have fun up here. You Very guys know nice. how we do. I would make that jersey scream for Oh my life. goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> um, guys, if you haven't already, there's still time to get entered into this week's drawing. Very simple. All you have to do is like and share this post. You can do that right now. Uh, show them. Take it away, Jared. All right. So you're just going to hit that share button on the bottom left, and you're going to share post. And then I don't know why Facebook makes you hit it for a third time, but just hit post. Lock step number three. In. And then it'll go to wherever. Feel free to share this to your groups. Um, that way they can win some really awesome prizes. This week, we're giving away a winner's choice of Caesar Easy Weed five yard by 15 inch roll. And that's Caesar Easy Weed Standard, Stretch, Extra, or Electric. So whichever color of any of those four rolls, types of rolls that, that you want, if you're the winner, if your name's drawn today, if your name's drawn today, uh, you get a pick. So just hit us up, send that's us right. your info, send us what kind of vinyl you want, and we'll get you a five yard roll on us. Literally, it's coming out of These our guys. check. <laughs> yeah, we, they, they told us if we want to keep doing contests, uh, we're going to have to pay for it. So. That's okay. Alex said he split it with us. So. Oh, I'll, I'll, yes. I okay, <laughs> uh, got another question <laughs> coming in, guys. This is going to be from GTiana. Uh, she was asking, pressure-wise, it looks like your machine isn't on that high of pressure. Do jerseys not require as much? Um, that's because we're using the pillow. So when you have the pillow, not only is the heat press kind of coming down on it, but the pillow, like there's, there's, I don't know how to explain it. Like there's kind of like tension, but the pillow is actually kind of pressing up on it too. Absolutely, yes. So with the, your, oh sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just saying that increased, uh, you know, thickness in there is going to be, you know, kind of team working with the silicone pad. So as the pressure is applied from the top, it's also going to be increased from the bottom. Yeah, it's going to be pushing right. up from the bottom. When you're using a pillow, if you apply too much pressure, you could permanently damage it. Um, like we did when I was making jerseys yesterday. Oh, I actually man. ruined one of our pillows. You just pancaked it? I pancaked oh, it. Goodness. Yeah, so so you don't want to, um, if, you're, if you're pressing with a pillow, the pillow should only go down about 25%, maybe 50 tops. So if you're squishing your pillow all the way down, it's, it's eliminating its purpose. It's not going to work properly. So because we're using the pressing pillow, um, we're, we were able to get a proper pressure uh, on our transfers. And you can see, if you zoom in, I don't think you'll be able to see it on camera. Um, but when, when you're pressing t-shirts, if you can kind of see the fibers, like an imprint of the threads in the t-shirt, uh, that's how you know you got good pressure, that the Always. vinyl is really smashed in there, it's really gripping on to those threads. We have those with the perforations on this jersey. Yes, um, that is so, true. You can really see the texture of the material, of the, like you know, Jared said, the perforation there. Yeah, and they, let's bring that on in. Right? Does that like show that here? through? Oops, that's not good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really bright in here. So if you can see it, great. If not, just trust us, it's there. But that's how we know that we're getting uh, great pressure on this. We, it, it works for our test press, uh, which is the one, uh, which one is the tester? Uh, oh, this one, yeah. This is the one that so we tested on off camera. One. This is the one that just came off. This bad boy is still a little warm, not gonna lie to anyone. <laughs> um, we do got some more questions <laughs> coming in, guys. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, this one's gonna be from uh, Michelle Darian. She's asking, is a finishing press on a jersey overkill? Um, no. I mean, if you're trying to, you know, seal it in, I mean, what yeah. you don't want to do is you don't want to overcook the adhesive. Yeah. You know, so we wouldn't, ex you know, recommend maybe extended time, but maybe one more to seal it in. Yeah. I wouldn't say it'd be overkill. Yeah, I mean, these are going to have a great grip uh, on there. Um, and not, not saying don't make a good product, but these are only going to go for, what, at the most a dozen games. If they're switching... If they're switching games, sorry, I took a picture. Uh, if if the, you know if they have a home and an away jersey, then like six games. Uh, but these will definitely make it through. Like these are this is high quality stuff. Caesar Easy Weed. I know it's been really popular in the craft community. Absolutely. But that doesn't take away from its roots. Caesar Easy Weed is like it's the pro choice. Absolutely, it's professional grade, meant to perform, built to last. As long as you follow your time, temperature, and Pressure, guys. Yes. Uh, in tech support, I would say the number one culprit primarily of failed transfers, be it vinyl, uh, printed, or otherwise, is going to be pressure related. So right. always make sure you dial in your pressure settings correctly depending on your transfer. Uh, exactly what he said. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got another one here coming in, Jared. Uh, this one's going to be from uh, Pilar Harrison. They're asking, uh, sorry, I missed the beginning. Do you use a sub block vinyl on your jerseys? You know, for this jersey, we didn't. Um, but if, uh, because it didn't really, when we tested it, there was no bleed through yeah. the vinyl. And I, I want to say it's because this color of yellow, uh, 
forgive me, I'm pretty sure it's sun yellow. I want to say because this yellow, yes. uh, for whatever reason, it didn't really, nothing came up. Um, if we would have seen some sublimation come through in our test press, we would have definitely switched over to the sub block. Uh, and that's actually a very, very great point. When you're working with sublimation jerseys, depending on your source, um, if the jersey itself has been dyed through sublimation, that's right. uh, using a thin layer of vinyl like Caesar Easy Weed White, um, or even if you're using stretch, you'll definitely see some of that sublimation kind of get reactivated and heat through the ink. So your, your white will actually look a little bit like whatever color of jersey is under it. Uh, so right. you definitely want to do a test press. Um, can't stress that enough, do a test press. We did the test press. Uh, this is our test press right here and everything worked out great. So we're comfortable showing it to you here live, but that's a great point on the sub block. Um, Caesar sub block, I believe specialty materials even has a special uh, heat transfer vinyl that works uh, for that exact purpose for preventing any sublimation uh, from seeping up and into your graphic. There we go. Well said. Well said. All right, man. You know, you guys saw how we started off with this, you know, really nice layered piece. Definitely something to offer to, you know, the spectators in the crowd, the supporters near or far. You know, if maybe, uh, you know, grandma doesn't live close enough to go get out to the games, you know, I'm sure she would love and appreciate, you know, maybe football grandma, you know, have that come in the mail, represent nationwide. Uh, and then yeah. really took it to the professional level here, really using the same skills, same tools, literally, to really show you something here that, Man, I mean, you see this in the store, that, that looks like it's a lot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, is this really how the pros do it? When you go to the NFL store, um, like if you're at the stadium and they're, and they're pressing custom team jerseys, look, try to see if you can look behind the counter because I guarantee you they're going to have a heat press back there, That's heat right. pressing the custom name and number onto your jersey. So yes, if you're wondering just how the professionals get, yes, is exactly how they do it. Unless they're unless you have somebody back there hand embroidering it, it's going to be a heat press. No, that's not happening. Yeah, uh, not happening. I think if you guys maybe tuned in a couple weeks back, we had an awesome sort of buyer's guide kind of going through the different classes and production volume for the certain machines. We mentioned with the Stalls Hotronics Fusion, that's the same machine they have in Staples Center. Yes. That's what they're putting the James 23 on the back. You know, those are all heat applied transfers. So, I mean, this is the same technology that the pros are using at the highest level. There's no reason you can't be producing the same quality work at home. Yeah, Stalls actually has a contract with the, is it NFL or NBA or both, for the for the draft? Oh, yes, that's right. Yeah, the names on the, the, the round first round picks and everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what they hold up there. Yeah, because those are made on the spot. You don't know who's going where. So, yeah, yeah you got to be ready for anything. But I, I always wondered how they got the names so fast. Like, wait, somebody knows who they're going <laughs> to like. How do they have the jersey ready so fast? Well, they can negotiate with the first round pick because they know oh, right, yeah, that right. one. But, uh, but after yeah. that, everybody gets the jersey. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, they all go up there if they're lucky to get the invite to the green room there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Light bulb. <laughs> um, man, let's, uh, let's run through post of the week really quick for them again. Yes, I want to give them an option to uh, vote post on of the these. Week. Absolutely. So we all do. Hashtag HPN creators for consideration or post your work in Heat Press Nation creators Facebook group. Take it away, Alex. Give us a rundown. So check it out. We have option A here. And by the way, guys, post of the week is another great way to win prize, these are our favorite picks this week. So A is number one, is the first pick. Then we have B, our second pick. Super Love it. Clean. C, sublimation, looks fantastic. Great artwork there. Uh, C, and so all you gotta do to, uh, if you guys wanna vote, just comment, comment whatever letter. Let's show them one more time. If you like A. Then you type A. a. Let's, there it is, and there, there she is. If you like A, just comment A below, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook. If you like B, comment B. Super clean. What do they do if they like C? If they like C, they're going to go ahead and uh, enter C in the comment the section. Comment hit C. send. Nice. You send that C if you like option C or A or B. We'll compile all the votes. We'll have a winner for you guys next week. Uh, if you guys want to be entered into consideration, hashtags right there. Facebook group information will be coming below at the bottom of the screen in just a moment. You can right also there. share your work in that awesome group. There it is, Heat Press Nation Creators. And you know, you guys hear us every week talk about how great this group is. You know, we're gonna say it again. If you are looking for maybe a second opinion or you know maybe some outside assistance, guidance, temperature settings, pressure settings, transfer advice. I mean, this is really Everything. the place to go. Everything. Absolutely. And you know, Jared really keeps a close monitor on that. But a lot of the staff here, you know, will jump in. Uh, Travis, I know, really. Really lends a lot of his expertise yeah. and uh, you know, just want to make sure you guys have every every tool everything for success yeah. and you know what's funny is that sometimes even before I'm able to get to a comment or one of our staff is able uh, you'll see other people there other heat press users other heat press nation users they have the exact same press as you and they're saying oh just do this try this oh I get my t-shirts from here like legit like there's so much great uh, information 
uh, that's available in the Heat Press Nation Creators Group. So it's not just coming from us. Tons of peer support there. And people from all experience levels, beginners, intermediates, expert pros, people who've owned their own shirt shops for like 10 plus years. Like it's, it's really awesome. No, absolutely. Great group to be a part of. Join us. Be, be part of our group. Um, <laughs> and Cross be sure over. to share your work. <laughs> uh, in addition to consideration for awesome weekly prizes, you could be inspiring someone else to really maybe take their equipment, their skills to a whole nother level. Whole other level, guys. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Uh, so, I mean, we kind of went over through some awesome heat transfer stuff for you guys on the sports ball, on the garments, but it doesn't stop there. If you guys have seen any of our past adventures with PSV, we're talking about the pressure Whoa. sensitive vinyl. Really, you don't even need heat for that. We have a whole episode, like actually several episodes dedicated to several this. Several episodes. Wow, wow. Uh, so, you guys see all these like hard uh, objects here, obviously, something that's not going to fit in your heat press while well, there is Caesar Easy PSV, which is an adhesive decal vinyl. If you guys have been using maybe Oracal 651, Caesar Easy PSV is a fantastic alternative. Absolutely. Uh, I'm a big fan, works great. That's what we were able to use to customize uh, this stuff right here. Um, so go ahead and scroll back a couple episodes because we have lots, lots of info on Caesar Easy PSV. And this is just more stuff that you can offer to your team. Uh, I mean, like we got this on Amazon for pretty cheap, but now that it has uh, go team on there. If you were to put your team's logo Absolutely. or your, you know, the, the player's name and number on there, guys, that the price just shot up. Exactly. Uh, you know, definitely something, you know, even, you know, the material composition, plastic, you guys know that's going to have a low melting point. So not really applicable for, you know, the mug press, for the flat press, for the ball press, um, but really a way to customize something that, as Jared said, super low cost substrate. And that just, that's value right there. Heck, if you don't want someone stealing your water bottle at the gym, just put some PSV on there, guys. That's right. So this is going to be available in a few different styles. There's going to be the removable, which is kind of like what we used here on our backdrop there, something that's not going to damage that paint. Maybe you're renting that house, or you know, maybe it's something that's not going to be long-term. You can get those clouds and animals for you know the infant room and really graduate that along as, as they mature and grow. And then there's going to be the permanent also. So uh, yes. something that's going to be able to weather the elements, uh, something that you'd feel safe maybe putting on the back of your car window, go team, go the pressers, you know, what have you. Uh, there's decals that are going to be available in like etched glass finishing. Um, so much cool stuff. Absolutely. Glitter. Yeah, glitter. There's chalkboard. Uh, the chalkboard. Actually, we, we just showed it off like what, a week or two ago. That's right. Chalkboard is super rad. I got a lot of cool stuff going on in PSV. They have a glow, glow in the dark. That's right. Yeah, I kind of want to do that in my apartment. Maybe like a starry sky or a the, constellation of you can, sorts. You can put anything. Yeah. I can just Orion's spaces. belt, you know what I'm talking about? A little, I don't His know. His wrestling belt? I was thinking more of the big stars. Oh, right. There we go. That too. Yes, there we go. Of course. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we like to think there's definitely a machine for every budget, for every production volume. And now with stuff like this, really every application. So whether you want to go into sublimation on your drinkware or you want to start being, a, you know, an athletic apparel factory, you know, we really have the, the equipment, the tools, and the support to get you guys up and running. But I feel like a lot of them kind of can add this to their existing yeah, catalogs, right? Exactly. Find yourself a wholesaler. Um, for uh, Sorry, if you have a business and you're selling t-shirts and you're getting them from Walmart or Target, you're losing money. Find yourself a wholesaler, get your wholesale license. It costs like $22. And a Google search. That's and a Google Jared search. It, yeah. Like, for real, like, invest in your business, make it legit. But then not only that, you have access to great products like these jerseys. This is stuff that you can offer, again, to your local sports teams. And it's not just Little Leaguers and Pee Wee Kids. Um, there's a lot of adult like flag football teams who want to go. Maybe you're in an adult flag football team and you guys just want to look super amazing. You guys, if you have a, again, we, I did this on the Graph Tech uh, and the SIG series, right? If you have a Cameo, you could do this. This, all the sizing fits within that realm. And a 15 by 15, you saw how we pressed it on a 15 by 15 inch. Guys, you have no excuse uh, to not be making money with your stuff. That's right, guys. Oh, this was a lot of fun. You know, I love when we get to bring out kind of maybe outside the box things stuff, or, yeah. you know, layering. You know, it's, uh, it's when done properly, this is really a great way to add that extra dimension. And there's so many ways you can go about it, you know, using the glitter there with the knockout method. Man, this is maybe an episode worth rewatching, guys, or bookmarking. But, uh, you know, we just would love for everyone to have, you know, just every opportunity to really maximize that earning potential and really offer everything. Eliminate the competition, guys. There we go. There we go. Well, this was fun. Uh, yeah, don't forget, here. real quick, we're, we're about to draw the winner 
We didn't forget. <laughs> Don't forget to share this episode. Like and share. Tag your friends if you want to. Um, but like and share this post for your chance to win. Uh, we're draw, we draw names every week, so it's not just post of the week like we showed right now. Totally thought that was coming from my head. <laughs> Got you. Oh, Save no. me. Uh, it's it's a like and share. It's um, it's not the oh sorry, I, uh, it's a distraction. You guys gotta like and share this post. Your name next week <laughs> might end up in uh, Bobby Boucher's water cooler. There we we'll go. Uh, be drawing names next week. But for those of you last week who were able to go ahead and like and share, your name is gonna be in here. And I think it's time to draw something. You guys ready? Oh, I get to, okay. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And you're, you have the C. You're the captain, bro. All right. Let's see here. All right. Let's see who's I think, uh. Okay, I got one. Shit, one of those. All right, you ready? Yes. Oh, hey! She was just commenting earlier. Gtiana. Gtiana. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Gtiana. Uh, Gtiana is one of our viewers we see all the time, really contributing uh, with thoughts, insight, questions. So it's really great to have you know one of our regulars win. But uh, you know, if you didn't win, get your name drawn this You're time. A future winner. Future winner. Uh, make sure you maximize your chances at winning. Make sure you like and share this post. Make sure you uh, go ahead and share your work with the hashtag. HPN Creators. Or right share there. in the awesome Facebook group. We can bring that up on the bottom one more time. You can search in the groups on Facebook, Heat Press Nation Creators, moderated by the experts, Jared. <coughs> and uh, great place to you know, get that extra help and also consider uh, when the, uh, you know, get the consideration for post of the week. <laughs> I got thrown out there a little you bit. You too, you too. Right. Football is just, I got my mind on the football right now, guys. There we go. Stefan's thinking of his fantasy league. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Took an L last week, so I got to bounce back. Dang. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for us from Heat Press Nation. Thank you guys so much for joining. We've had an absolute blast with you guys today. Uh, go uh, rounds. Go sports. Eagles.